hello guys so this is the second part of a video i made earlier this week about how to create really unique camera movement just like johnny harry's video so in the first video i recreated this scene from one of johnny harry's video and if you haven't seen the video yet i'll be dropping the link down in the description below for today's tutorial i'll be showing you guys how to create this scene and it's really simple so if you want to learn how to create videos like pro youtubers please follow my channel like and subscribe so as you can see here i have already recreated the video and the scene so because of time i won't be going into details i won't be breaking down everything from the scratch because that will take a lot of time so i'm just going to give you a breakdown of how i achieved the edit and from here you'll be able to understand better how to do it and if you have any question you can always drop it down in the comment section or send me a message on discord and i'll reply you. and if you have any requests you can always do that also so I'll be putting all of the assets in a link and putting them in the description below if you want to follow the tutorial. So let's get into it. So the first thing we need to see here is the graph I downloaded. This bar graph here, I'll show you. I downloaded it from FreePix and I imported it into Adobe Illustrator. So I separated everything into a different layer. As you can see here, the Y axis, it's on its own layer. The X axis on its own layer the line this dash line here are all in their own separate layers so i had to delete this these bars here in the video because for a better customization i this wouldn't work so i had to delete it in the in the scene which i was explaining so the first thing you need to do is bring down i downloaded this this image of a powder drug in the black background then then i added a shape layer then I added a green shape layer to it and changed the mood to screen, then reduced the opacity to 55. So it's a bit transparent, just like what Johnny Harris did in this video. So this is the X axis I brought in from the graph I downloaded. This is the X axis. You can do this manually in After Effects, but just so that you don't waste your time, you can find something on FreePick and download that and use. So this is the X axis. So I'll open this. This is our dash lines. This is our Y axis. They are all in separate in a separate layer. You can all put them in the same layer. It doesn't matter. But I like them separate. So in case I want to customize them. So after that, the next thing I did was to create this bar graph here. The next thing I did was to create this bar graph here. So I'm just going to open the precomb I did just to show you how I did it. So I created this bar with a 135 pixels stroke so you did you do stroke and without a fill you close the fill so how so i also animated it as you can see here each of them going up gradually depending just five seconds video each of them going up gradually so how do you do this if you're new to after effect you might not know how to do this so you, all you need to do is add a trim part to your shape layer once you add a trim part to your shape layer and you go down to the trim pad you can click on this and um, keyframe icon here and animate your your bars from start position then you release it down to a high spot so this is really simple to do if you have any question as always please ask me so i know i'm going a bit fast so i'll just delete this yellow this the yellow background because it doesn't don't really need it i just did it to show you how so going back into our main comp you can see the bars here animating let me reduce this down to a third so it's animate faster so you can see it's here animating so i didn't leave it as black because in johnny harry's video you can see that it has a brown paper texture background so i brought in this brown paper texture then made it the alpha format of our of our bar layer so now you can see our bar has a brown texture a brown paper texture just like johnny harris on so the not the last thing though is this shape layer this and so i created this line showing the elevation of our graph so it's almost the same thing what all you need to do is click on your pen tool and draw a shape a line from here to the top then add a trim part to it so i added the trim part then animated it 
to this animated it going up so the final thing we need to do is i'll show you how to get how to create the camera movement which is very easy so let's get into that so to add a camera to uh, the camera movement to our video here all we need to do is go down to layer then click on new then open camera then we'll be using a one node camera you can rename this if you want then leave it at 35 millimeter camera then leave the rest of the setting as it is then click ok then we'll drag this this camera layer to the length of our composition then one important thing i forgot to tell you about is make sure everything is in 3d click on this box here to make everything all your layers in 3d except for our background layer here this the drop behind and the shape layer here so make sure you realize that it's in 3d to create the camera movement you want so to create the camera movement the main thing we're going to be using is the position parameter so this is our z space this is up and this is side to side this is up and down here so to create a camera movement at the beginning of our timeline we'll zoom into our composition here so i'll just use this these parameters here to to get what i want so depending on your video and depending on what you need to do you know how much you want to zoom into your video so once i'm zoomed in the position i like i think this is okay i'll click on this stopwatch here to to create a keyframe then go forward a bit till our shape layer starts moving create another keyframe then start moving in once you make any movement it will keep so i'm just going to keep sliding through and moving our cameras as i go so you just use your x and y parameters from the position to move your camera so i'm just rushing this so when you are recreating your own you have to take time you have to really spend time here so you get the animation properly That's it. So I'm just going to replay this real quick and let's see how it goes. <laughs> 